Well, hello, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Aquarius. So we're going to get started with your reading. I am using a brand new um, astrological deck, okay? So this is um, an oracle I'm going to use before we get into the tarot. And then we're going to get into the tarot. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. So uh oh that came out. Something dealing with your home. Some of you guys are about to get a brand new home. Something dealing with your family. That's what popped out and fell in my lap. Okay, all right. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. <clears throat> wow. Ooh. This is the last thing that came out. Pleasure. Okay, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> And it's kind of in harmony with each other, right? Because here with Taboo, it talks about what sexual, like intensity, untamed type of like energy. Okay, all right. <laughs> but let's first, let's go ahead. Let's go here. So here we're talking about the fourth house, which is family values, um, you know, your home, that type of thing, okay? Um, you know, I feel like some of you guys could be, and this is your emotions concerning your home, okay? So I feel like some of you guys could be moving home. Something about your home is changing or intensifying, okay? The second card that came out here is a Taurus, okay? So we already know Taurus is, is representative of the Empress um, card in the Tarot. Um, it also talks about comfort, um, luxury, pleasure. Oof, we talked about pleasure, right? That's what we talked about, fifth house. So I see a lot of romance, comfortability, pleasure. And I think you guys are needing this just because this is something that you guys have been lacking for a very long time anyway. So to me, having this passion, this also talks about hobbies and entertainment. Um, I really do feel like you guys are going to be going into a a a very more exciting time. I guess that's what I can say. I guess something way more exciting here. Uh, and this is love affairs and children too. So I think it has something to do with children at home and comfortability, definitely home and pleasure. But if you guys are not married, you don't have any children. Oof, this is something I'm saying here. Last one I have here is fate. Okay, this is North Node, faith. What is that talk of fate rather, not faith. <laughs> this talks about your destiny. Okay, your destination, where you're going. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see how this is going to play a role in your reading. Like I said, at the bottom of the deck, you guys had Taboo, which is Lilith, the black black um, moon. I believe that's what that is, uh, which, which is talking about erotic desires, that type of thing. I'm telling you, that came out heavy in your reading. So we're going to see how this is going to play a role <clears throat> in your tarot. This is for Aquarius. First one I have is Seven of Cups. A lot of opportunities here, but I don't know why I feel like this has something to do with confusion. Ooh, and then we got the Five of Cups. What's happening? At the bottom, we got the Three of Cups. Okay. So I feel interference when it comes down to a connection. I mean, you know, this, these reads are not just going to be about love, but because this is the emotion, I feel like this has something to do with, again, home, family. Now, even if this has something to do with you guys just in a love relationship, there's a lot of confusion here. I feel disappointment. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So let's go. Let's keep going. Nine of Wands, wow. And the Eight of Cups. You guys are walking away from something? Look at all of these cups here. Okay, Aquarius, this is the first time I've ever seen your read look like this. And it, well, not the first, but in a while. At the bottom of the deck, it's the Ten of Wands. Now this is right after the Nine, right? So it's, you know, putting down burdens. So whatever you guys have been holding on to, whatever has been, been causing wear and tear, ah, this is the reason why the Eight of Cups is here, walking away. And I really do feel like this in relationships, this is going to be a push and pull. I've already explained it and it said that once before to you guys. This is why I feel 
that this fate is here. Part of this eight of cups is this person walking towards what? What's fated? Which is which is challenges. You know, you you've dealt with challenges and change. Not that you're walking towards challenges, but because of challenges that you've experienced and you've learned lessons, you're going towards the future. That is the North Node. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. And this is you guys putting down what the the this burden. So some of you guys are going through this right now. I, I, most of the reads are future. So I feel like it's something that I feel like has already kind of started or already started. Um, but it's definitely not going to last that long. We see. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's keep on going here for you Aquarius. Oh, I love these astrology cards. They're amazing. <clears throat> Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. I'm not sure if I called you, if I said Taurus by accident. If I did, my apologies. All right. So Aquarius, oof, we got the Knight of Swords here. A lot of opportunities. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys cut something away or will be because this is future. Six of Cups. This could have something to do with your past. Your children, childhood friends, we're going to find out. Could be all of it, right? Or it could be, you know, depending on who's watching, it's going to hit you in some way or form, right? Oof, nine of pentacles. Now, I am going to tell you here, there is delays, right? Um, you guys have been waiting for something for a very, very long time. And this could be the reason why the eight of cups is here because it talks about um, unfulfillment. But man, when I tell you, I see things moving very well for you. You're cutting things away. I feel like where before you've been dealing with people who are just very hasty, not able to make a decision one minute there and one minute there out. Here with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're going towards someone. Remember, because this is talking about what? Romance. I feel like you, you guys are going to end up meeting someone who is going to be very sincere. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Let's clarify these cards. Oh, sorry, 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 guys. Let me move this over here. Okay, <clears throat> let's start with the Seven of Cups here for Aquarius. Seven of Cups. And your past is in, <laughs> is in your reading. Okay, I'm not sure why they're here, but they're here. Okay, so we'll find out. This is what I feel like you guys are walking away from. And this is in the future, starting from the end of this year to next year. Seven of Cups. Mm. Four of Wands. This is about your home. I just said it. That's what I just said. Let's get to it. Let's go back. <laughs> so where is it with your home card? Welcome home. You guys have a lot of choices in picking out what house you're going to be in. Maybe you guys are building. Um, I also see that there is going to be a lot of people or different people vying for your attention. I love the fact that here with the Knight of Pentacles that I really do see that there are going to be, there's going to be someone in your, in your vicinity that you may be confused about, you're uncertain about, that is going to be a long-term committed relationship. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys may be a little confused about a marriage. Maybe you're still inside of a marriage. Maybe you're a little confused if you should stay or you should go. But like I said, this there's a lot of faded change. So depending on your chart, it's going to be up to you. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's get this five of cups. Because I see leaving for some, staying for others. Okay. Yeah, see, I just said it. Decisions. No, oh, it's not a miss. Okay. <laughs> A decision about a family, about a home life. I had just said that this is exactly what it was about. This is why it started off with your fourth house, your home. Remember, your emotions dealing with home, your feelings about it, all right? And you're gonna, you guys are going to have choices to make, okay? Because there's a lot of disappointment here. Let's go ahead. Let's get the nine of wands. <clears throat> And I don't feel just you. I feel like it's also your person because I feel like there's a lot of regret here. I can always tell when your person enters into the uh, reading and they have. Um, it's not just about you experiencing this disappointment. It's, them. it's been a lot of wear and tear. 
I feel like you worked really hard, tried to work really hard on making something work and it didn't work. Or maybe you are trying to get out of connection and maybe someone, maybe your spouse is trying to keep you in it. If this has nothing to do with a marriage, I feel like this is, like I said in the beginning, you have, you're going to have a lot of choices on, um, you know, depending on how you're dating, how your dating activity is, but you're going to have a choice on who you want to be with, because I feel like it's going to end up being in a long-term thing, long-term situation. Let's get the eight of cups. Yeah, we can't ignore this eight of cups though, which talks about unfulfillment and sadness. I feel like with this four of, four of pentacles, um, this really is, is it, just look at the read. I mean, just look at it. We're talking about home. Why is it so much sadness here? Some of you guys are married and want to get out of the connection. Some of you guys are married and want to keep the connection, want things to improve. Some of you guys want marriage. It all depends on your chart and in your circumstance. But this is really what this is about. This is your home. And you guys will be facing choices. This is an outline. So every last one of you will have choices to make in the future dealing with your home because remember you got the north node here which is a dest which is destiny okay even though you've experienced these challenges your future is in your hands okay so let's go ahead let's get the knight of swords with some things because this really does talk about choices and i feel like this is the clarity for some of you, this really is about moving on here with the two of wands. For others, this is about long term. Like, let's make this work. The ace of swords is the answer. So will you have the answer? Yes. According to your circumstance and situation. Some of you guys are going to cut things away. Queen of swords. <clears throat> Look at this. <laughs> some of you guys, be careful how you talk to your children, please. Okay, just FYI, some of you guys are a little brutal towards your children, not brutal, but you talk a little harsh, okay? Um, yeah, so I really do feel like if you guys have cut someone away in the past, like again, um, if there's a spouse that left the house, they want to come back in and talk to you. I also feel like some of this has something to do with child support, okay? Let's get the Six of Cups. Yeah, so for those um, that you guys have not been talking to your past, no matter what what they were to you, spouse or just a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, there will be communication, okay? For some, it'll be just about the children. For others, it's like, hey, I'm serious now. Let's work this out because I can't, I can't let you go. Remember, I, I see your person in this reading too. So a lot of disappointment. Let's get this Knight of Pentacles though here. Someone see the light with the hangman, which is enlightenment. Yeah, but you guys have choices here. I'm sorry, especially with this lover's heart. You guys are going to have some choices here and it's going to hurt. It's going to break someone's heart. This is what you guys will be facing. Remember, we're talking about what's faded. Faded change. Changes in home. You know, um, it talks about you being your comfortability. You're changing that, but there is a lot of pleasure here. Some of you guys, I feel even you Aquarius are dealing with people outside of connections, dealing with different people, but you will have a choice to make. You see it here with the two of swords, okay? So this is what I have for you Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.